With more than 8 million residents, New York City is the most densely populated city in the U.S. and celebrities are dropping big bucks for a chance to call it home. And here with the latest star-studded buys in the Big Apple is Douglas Elliman real estate broker Victoria Steiner. Hi. Hey, Hi. How are you? Welcome to the show. Thank you. All Thank right. you. So you have to break this down for us because we all know that celebrities have always lived in New York City, but it seems like a lot of those West Coast stars are now planting roots here. Why is that? I think people love New York, especially celebrities. Mm -hmm. They love the anonymity, the fact that you could just get out of your house and walk around and have such a wonderful time and blend in. Get on the subway, put on your backpack, put on your shades, and no one knows that it's you, Jennifer Aniston, <laughs> or you, mm -hmm. uh, Matthew McConaughey. Sarah Jessica Parker, Naomi right. Watts, all of them, yeah. Yes, yes, they're Uma all Thurman. here. Thurman, yeah. They're all here and they're all in the city. So when famous people are hunting for a home, what amenities are they looking for? Number one thing, they're looking for a doorman and okay. they're looking for privacy. Mm. Gotcha. Privacy and they want to be able to be in a neighborhood that they're convenient for them. Also to have transportation and stores and beautiful little quaint restaurants. Ooh. Well, What are some of the neighborhoods that provide that right now? What's hot? Well, the hottest neighborhood right now, I think, is Madison Square Park. Is that for mm. the hottest neighborhoods for celebrities? Um, yes, yeah. for celebrities mm -hmm. and also they love the West Village. Yes. Yes, because of also the fact the little cobblestone streets have a little flair of Europe in there. So they're enjoying themselves very much because they could blend in and not be seen. And moguls like Rupert Murdoch are also uh, scooping up a lot of land here mm -hmm. too. What, what's this about him in he, the Flatiron District? He wanted a... Um, a star-studded home mm -hmm. where you can have the most incredible views. And one Madison Square Park, the building itself, mm -hmm. one Madison, um, which was recently bought over by Related, was able to give him 11,000 square feet wow. on three different levels. Three and, different levels? So it's and a triplex. Yeah. Wow, and the exposure is that. incredible. You have views of Empire State Building, and when you walk into the living room, the ceiling height is 14 feet, and you're looking from river to river. Goodness. It's unbelievable. How much does something like that cost? You're going into $50 million. Five zero. Five zero. Wow, river to river. River to river. That's been nice. But it's unique because you get it on three levels, you're on top of the building, and it's just jaw dropping. Mm. When you walk in, I've, you know, I sell a lot of real estate and I've seen many homes, but something like that is so special. Wow, we know Giselle and Tom Brady also live in that same building, there but they only go. spent 14 million, a measly 14 million on their place. They only bought on one place. floor. Only one floor. So and what it wasn't the top. Oh, so what is their apartment <laughs> like though? Is it still it's nice? Still one floor? It's still incredible. And the bathroom Whoa. is, you have views of the entire city. Mm -hmm. And from the bathroom, you see the river. And you also see the World Financial Center wow. while you're taking a shower. Because the, you are so high and mm -hmm. the buildings down are so low that you can be there without any kind of screening and be naked. Wow. <laughs> can I say that? <laughs> <Yeah>. Naked. <laughs> yeah. If you look like and Tom Brady. Exactly. Yeah. City. Yeah. 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 I'd like to be, I'd like to build a building close enough so I can see that. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. That'd, That'd be great. great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. Why is this building so hot right now? Well, the building is hot right now because the, you have Italy, you have That's SD26, right. you also have um, Chelsea Clinton. And those Clinton. are popular restaurants over yeah. in the neighborhood. The yeah, neighborhood. And you also have, you could be on the east side, you could be on the west side, you could be uptown or downtown because you're on 23rd and Madison Avenue. Mm. And everything is within walking distance. Correct. You can get to Union Square really quickly. Correct. You can get yeah. to Midtown really quickly. And the subways really are right there. The All subway. the subways yeah. are right but there. But do they really take the subway? No. no. <laughs> can I tell you something? Uh -huh. I went to see um, uh, Of Mice and Men with James mm -hmm. Franco. Yeah. Uh -huh. And one of the actors that came out at the end wearing his shades, because I went to a matinee, he was wearing his backpack. And I got close enough for autographs. I'm sending my daughter. She's a big fan. And I said, where are you going? He's like, I'm going on the subway. <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, they feel, you know, the sense of, of familiarity, yeah. the sense of just just blending in and being, a, you know, a New Yorker, right. which we all are, right? Yeah. 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 All right. Now we mentioned uh, Giselle and Tom, and just across town from them, Cameron Diaz is in Chelsea. What's her condo like? She, Cameron Diaz, um, bought at the Walker Tower, mm -hmm. and okay. that's a older building that was an office building, and it was converted into condominiums and the ceiling height is 12 to 14 feet 
you have open spaces, including outdoor space. It's a luxurious building. So she got over 3,000 square feet, and she has to be in Chelsea. So that was one of the things that she wanted to buy. Look at that uh, kitchen. Uh, this is a little bit different. This is not floor to ceiling glass, which is the other one. This mm -hmm. is a, a pre-war, which okay. is a older built, but done brand new kitchens, oh. brand new baths, and the developer did an amazing job. I'd say so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. And she looked at a lot though. But she this did. is something special. Yeah, because for her. in page six they were always talking about her hunting about hunting yeah. and hunting and hunting. So that's yeah. where she ended up. Yeah, right. Denzel Washington. Oh, yes. He got into one of the most uh, amazing buildings in New York City. And it's legendary, 15 Central Park West. What makes this building so special? Well, you have the address. You are on Central Park, mm -hmm. and you are you have full Central Park views from every room. The building has a house, then an interior courtyard, pool, um, business center, party room, uh, gym, oh my God, and it looks then like the you plaza. have yeah, and then you have a tower. The tower. tower is on Broadway, but you still have the amazing view. So you have the house on the bottom here, and then you view of the park and of Broadway. So you capture both of them. Mm -hmm. And it also, the most incredible sale that we had was $88 million a few years ago. Who wow. put down $88 million for a home? Tell me. A Russian buyer. A Russian. Wow. A Russian yeah. buyer bought it for his daughter. You know, she was going to school in NYU. It was for her? Yeah. Oh, I wish yeah. my parents. It's, it's not, the parents. It's, it's, I don't have a daddy like that, but no, I'd like to have no, a daddy no. like that. Was it, not, was it the Abramovich girl? No, 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 no it's Rublev. He's a daddy has a fertilizer company. Uh, <laughs> all that on so. poop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poop makes a lot of money. Oh, okay. Well, who else lives in this building? Um, Google, no. Sergey Brin, Sergey Brin, Stink, mm -hmm. and Trudy. Okay. And yeah. Kelsey Grammer used to live there as in A-Rock when he was sneaking all those women in. Yeah, and oh that yeah, that's, yes, yes. That that and Page Six Dorman had to tell us all about yes, those naughty I details. Remember that. And oh, there was yes. a book about it that just came yes. out recently by Michael mm -hmm. Gross, all yes. about the goings on in that building. Yeah, there's a lot of going ons, but you know, if you're nice to the staff, the staff will keep their mouths shut, so maybe he wasn't so nice. Okay. okay. Now, yeah. there was a real estate uh, record that was recently broken at the Plaza Hotel, is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, the Crutoy, he bought a $48 million apartment there. And at the time, it was the most expensive condo sale. But right now, we've broken more records. We have a $90 million penthouse that just went into contract at 157. And uh, the Hamptons, we just had a $136 million sale on the water. Oh, I'd say so. so, on the water. On the water. So New York and the Hamptons, we're going up in okay. price. Well, yeah. What's the biggest deal you've ever closed? I sold a piece of land, believe it or not, in my old neighborhood, Brooklyn, for $21 million. Wow, <laughs> yeah. Brooklyn has come a long way. Yeah. I represented both sides, so it was, a, it was a lot of fun. So you got the full commission. I got the full commission. Oh, but wow. condo sales, I've, I've sold a $16 million apartment um, to both sides um, when the market was free falling. So that kind of gave me a good push, uh, and uh, it was done in February. So I said to myself, maybe I should take the year off. Right, you can afford <laughs> no, that. that. Yeah, that's what I said. I was skiing with my kids. To go into the real estate right. business. I was skiing with my kids, and I said to my kids, who were staying at a shabby hotel, I'm like, Mom, we just closed a big deal. We're moving into the better hotel. Oh, so we ended wow. up staying at a five-star that vacation. But, but, you know, with those big deals, it also yes. comes a lot of challenges with dealing with these big names and yes. people who have a lot of money. What are some yes. of the challenges when dealing with celebrities and notable people? Well, when you're dealing with celebrities, you have to be uh, kind, you have to be mm. sincere, mm. and you also have to explain to them the difference. Being a New Yorker and understanding what their privacy issues are, um, how they travel, because they are bi-coastal most mm -hmm. of the time, and where is the supermarket, where is the nail salon. They want to know these things because they are lay people. Mm -hmm. And um, it, just keeping your mouth shut right. was one of those things. That's we do right. sign confidentiality agreements, oh, okay. and it was it's something special that they um, really would like for you to do. What's the strangest thing that a celebrity has ever requested that you've come across? They wanted a dog park. They wanted a dog oh, park. And, like the, and there are buildings on the Upper East Side that have dog parks. <laughs> they have little on the amenity floor where the gym is. Mm -hmm. They have a little thing for their doggy. Oh, okay. And they wanted the dog not to go to Central Park, but to run around and have an exercise space. And there is a building like that. Oh, I actually represented okay. a, 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 a hockey star that was so in love with this dog that we had to have that, and we did find it. That's cool. <laughs> but when these celebrities sell their homes, you know, yes, what they, kind of markup can they add on to the price just because they live there? 
if they would like to admit it, that they're the owners, and a lot of them do buy direct, and they don't put it as LLC, so you have mm -hmm. the name of the person who bought it, it's about 10%. Okay. Oh. And I'll tell you something, when I was selling his house, and we had his... The hockey player? The hockey player's house, and mm -hmm. we had his uh, Olympic medals on mm -hmm. the wall. Who he, was it, Wayne Gretzky? There's someone like that. Uh -huh. People would walk in and say, is that an Olympic medal? I go, that is correct. Cha-ching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, and then they, 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 they try to figure out who it is, then they go to Property Shock, try to Google it, uh -huh. and they want their property even more. Oh, okay. So it does, the cachet does draw up more money. All People right. love that. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind when I sell my home, extra 10%. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Shannon's up there. <laughs> That's right. That's All right. right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Here. My you. pleasure. You're fantastic. Please come again soon. Oh, sure. Yes. Keep right. us posted on who's buying and selling. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Right. I will. Thank you. Thank you. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.